The Grade A listed Lanyon Building at the heart of Queen's University is one of the most iconic buildings in Northern Ireland. In 2017 it was in need of urgent specialist repair, which demanded some detective work into traditional Victorian crafts. Some of the window styles hadn't been made for at least a hundred years. It's a building for the city of Belfast. It features some banknotes. It's a tourist destination. It's used in city advertising. It really symbolizes the heritage of the university. Um, so getting that support um, was difficult, but recognized that we had to do this. The longer we left it, the worse the problem was becoming, and therefore over time would become more problematic to repair. This is an overview that gives you a sort of a a detail of what generally happened on the external elevation. All the red shows the stone replacement. The green is repointing, the pink is repointing, there's, there's lead work below the coping. The contractor did uh, some research and he uh, sourced brick locally. That was uh, old Belfast brick that was a, a, a very good match for what we had in the building. The key element there was trying to match that lay mortar to the existing lay mortar was in the building. And if you walk around, you probably struggle to find what's new and what's old. This project is a, a living, live learning environment in that we had opened it up to not only Queen's University architectural students and conservationists in Northern Ireland, but we've had a number of Open Architecture Days, European Heritage Days. There has been a number of apprentice schemes under the various trades as well as our own staff. The stone basins who are calculated based. Their ability to work the stone both in situ and to replace it has been described as exemplary in this particular scheme. These are unique zinc lattice windows. To find a manufacturer that could replicate this was a challenge because every time they tried to form the trifoil heads they were bending, crack come apart. They were told there was a, a gentleman, I think it was from Manchester, who is now in a home who was from a, who'd, who'd worked with his younger days and found it with, with, with zinc and he told them what he thought the formula was. They tried this formula and worked first time. I think it's very important to actually log the skill sets that were used. Because I know we have lots of modern technology at the moment, but if this is revisited again in 20, 30, 40, 50 years time, it'll be the same skill sets that'll be used to bring the building back to its, its glory. So I think it's very important that it was captured. Charles Lanyon made the decision, let's really have a spectacular exterior and later generations can sort out the interiors. I think that was a clever decision and if you want what's been done now is a continuation of the work that Lanyon was doing and his team in the mid-19th century. Mm -hmm.